at the first J6 Graph conference, we presented the gesture-based dynamic math software Sketchometry. Sketchometry uses J6 Graph as a basis and builds an intuitive user interface on top of it. Objects like lines, points, or even circles are sketched with the finger or with the mouse and then interpreted as exact objects. Dependent objects are created by gestures. For example, a perpendicular line is sketched by a gesture in the form of an L. This gesture indicates the essential property of the perpendicular, the right angle. In addition, the gesture registers the straight line to which the perpendicular has to be drawn. Now you can mark the right angle with the angle gesture. Comparable to this, further objects are created, for example, the midpoint. Consequently, constructions are not primarily created by tools, but by finger gestures. Sketchometry is mainly used in school lessions and there especially in geometry. The gestures also allow easy sketching and experimenting on smaller screens such as smartphones. Currently, the software is being fundamentally revised and redesigned. Particular attention is being paid to mobile devices and a responsive design. The new interface is divided into a grey control bar at the top and a blue toolbar at the bottom of the screen. The toolbar can also be hidden to provide more space for sketching. Of course, this benefits small smartphone screens, especially in landscape mode. The constructions are still saved on the device. For this purpose, we have added a folder structure to that gallery. User can thus structure their constructions individually. The heart of sketchometry, the gestures, have also been updated and expanded. For example, there is now a new gesture for the parallelogram. For this purpose, we have extended the well-known parallel gesture. A parallel was previously created with a set over a straight line. If this gesture now is sketched over three points, it is created a parallelogram. The first stroke of the set gesture determines the orientation of the parallelogram. There is a completely new gesture for the perpendicular bisector. Here too, we have followed the sketchometry philosophy close to the object. This means, first, a point is marked. Then the position of the center perpendicular is indicated. And finally, a second point is marked. Gestures are recognized in sketchometry by comparing them with existing patterns. We have determined these empirically and stored them in a database. Another advanced feature is the unitying and binding of points. A free point can be bound to a straight line by a tap hold and then drag and drop it on a straight line. Likewise, the glider can be released from the straight line again. If a point is bound to another point, they merge and behave like a single point. This feature is especially interesting when dealing with vectors. Merged points are marked by a white dot 
and can also be detached again. A test version of the new sketchometry is available during the conference at the following link. This link you can find in the conference Moodle 2. The official version will be released in early 2024. As already explained in this short video, we are currently fundamentally revising and redesigning our sketchometry software. I'm the main developer and I work closely together with Carsten Miller. Of course, compared to Chase XGraph, sketchometry software has a much reduced feature set. And this is intentional because every functionality is didactically prepared by us before we implement it to sketchometry. At the moment, there are mainly geometric tools. During the next year, methods of calculus will be added. So compared to sketchometry one, you can see it on the left side, two essential features are missing in sketchometry two on the right side. Measuring objects and plotting functions. I can show it here so you can measure the circumcircle of this polygon. And also you can plot here some function. This is not possible yet in Sketchometry 2. So, we would like to add these two features before we release the new version of Sketchometry in early 2024. And in addition to the test version, uh, the test version is currently available at our uh, website, Conference Moodle. You see the link uh, in the chat or at the Conference Moodle. And probably there are some bugs in this version. Uh, we have to fix it. Uh, two, of course. We developed the sketchometry software for teaching geometry. But of course, the students should also experience calculus with their finger and learn through that. Um, the target group is always primary and secondary school. Sketchometry 1 was previously translated into 20 different languages. Um, the new version is currently only available in German and English. Today, we would like to call on you, the participants of this conference, to participate in the development of Sketchometry 2 and translate the software into a new language. To do this, I would like to briefly introduce the tool we are using to accomplish this. A group of students from the University of Bayreuth sat down together with me and um, programmed this database with, uh, in which we um, manage our translations. Here on the start page, you can see that we have already uh, created 20 or 21 because I have one uh, test language for this presentation, but we created the 20 languages of the first version of Sketchometry here, uh, but currently only German and English are completely translated. We would be happy if someone of you would uh, translate one of these languages shown here, or even uh, a completely different language. Uh, we would like to add them, of course. And I want to show how easy that is translating this uh, uh, software. I created the language Bavarian, um, which uh, should be translated by my test translator now. And on this page, all existing tags are listed in the first column at the left side. 
Uh, currently, there are about 200 tags, but most of them are very, very short and consist only of one word. In the second column, there's no much infos, but uh, if you search a little bit, you can see sometimes we have added some additional uh, infos. For example, if the uh, translation is contained in a button, uh, we say here the button is only uh, has only a width of uh, 95 uh, pixels. So please use a short um, translation. Uh, later, probably some screenshots uh, of the location of the translation uh, will be added in this column here as well. The third column always contains our default language English. So you can see what is contained in this uh, tag. And in the fourth column, I can determine myself which language is shown. Because Bavarian is a German dialect, I selected German here as reference language. And last but not least, in the last column, there is a there are the inputs where I can put in my translations, where I can do my translation. So now I can go simply through these uh, lines and add translations line by line. And if I think, okay, it's uh, similar to the reference language, I can take the reference language too and just adjust it here. The translations are stored in the database immediately. At the top of the, I just put some more in here. At the top of the table, you can see a progress bar. In this progress bar, you can see how much is translated and uh, how much takes are left for a complete translation. There, are, there can also be more than one translator walking, working on a language. Uh, then the second translator can check the um, translations made by the first translator and uh, yeah, yes, adjust it um, and correct it. Uh, you know. uh, if a language is completely translated, I can transfer it as, a, uh, as admin to Sketchometry with just a few clicks, and then we will publish uh, the language automatically in the next software version. So, so now again, the call. If any of you would like to be a translator of Sketchometry, feel free to contact us via the Moodle forum. I've just added a topic here, Sketchometry 2, call for translators. Please uh, comment here with uh, the language you want to translate and, uh, of course, your name and your uh, mail address so we can contact you um, and you can start to translate this. Thank you very much.